All right, what's up, guys? So Lost Ark is going to be launching early access tomorrow. So I wanted to go over a few leveling tips that I had from my experience with the game so far. And mainly, it's going to be pretty basic stuff if you haven't played the game so already. So, my first tip is going to be, when you're leveling and you're leveling up your skills, there's going to be a couple with lower cooldowns that you'll have access to. And those are the skills that I would recommend putting a lot of your points into, maxing those skills early for your leveling purposes. Um, on my Gun Lancer here that I was playing before, that ended up being my uh, skill I had assigned to Q and W. The uh, Q skill had one of the tripod selections. It could reduce the cooldown by several seconds on hit. And so sometimes I could have a two, just a two or three second cooldown on it. So that's where a lot of my damage was coming from. And it also had um, an AOE tripod selection. So that worked well for leveling. There's a lot of skills that are utility, and most of those are kind of one-point wonders early on. Um, you have them more just for the utility or for something to activate while your main damaging skills are on cooldown. And then there's a couple big AoE skills that it just do high burst or just kills you know, all the trash on the screen. So for skills, that's what I would recommend doing. Um, as far as quest progression goes, the game is made in a way where basically you run from A to B to C to D, and as you go, you'll pick up a bunch of side quests to do along with the main story quests. And those side quests usually happen to just be on the way while you're doing the main quest and are usually just run over here, talk to this NPC, or collect these three items on your way to this NPC. And it highlights on the map where you need to go to complete those quests or, or kill a couple mobs here and there. So I would recommend just doing those on your way to the main story quest progression. And I would advise against um, spending any time killing mobs that aren't necessary. They give 2 XP per mob and it takes thousands and tens of thousands of XP to level up so there's really no point in killing uh, trash mobs when you don't need to. And if you uh, get to a, a point where you've progressed on the main story quest and you'd have to backtrack for side quests, I would probably just go ahead and skip those side quests. Um, I've seen some people say that you don't even need to do any of the side quests to hit max level by the time you finish the story quest, but not knowing if anything will be different in the NA EU version, I would probably just go ahead and do them on the way because it only takes about 30 seconds maybe at most and then you won't get into a situation where you have gone through the main story quest and you still are not max level. So for your first playthrough I would recommend um, just going ahead and doing those side quests until a little more is known about the game and the most efficient way to level in the NA EU version. As far as dungeons go, um, at launch I expect it to take only you know a couple seconds to get a party for a dungeon quest. But if you're leveling up at another point in time and you're having trouble getting a group for a dungeon, just go ahead and skip it. 
um, the quest gear you get is usually almost on par with the hard dungeon um, rewards. And I would only probably do the dungeons once just for the quest uh, if you need to. I, I probably wouldn't run them multiple times at, at the start, at the launch. Because you don't need the gear from these dungeons and really the main XP you get is from the quest, so. But if you just want to um, run on it a couple times for fun, I mean, you know, to each each their own. The dungeons are really fun and the boss fights are really fun. Um, this was one of the more interactive fights uh, that I experienced in the beta. It was pretty cool. A uh, couple other tips I would suggest. Um, it's probably going to be worth it to get a pet to pick up all the trash items. Otherwise, you have to manually pick up every single one of them. And you get the pets. There's some free pets, um, I believe, that are going to be available early on from a quest if it's the same as in the beta. Also, as you're playing through the game, um, just focus mainly on the main story quest and hitting max level on your first character. The game has a lot of um, content and shared progression for your account and for materials, so you're going to have a lot of room for getting alts leveling up uh, multiple characters. It's going to benefit whichever character you do decide to progress first to that tier 3 content because the uh, mats are shared and a lot of the quests are kind of far apart. So some of the best strategies involve having multiple characters to do extra content with because a lot of the content is gated uh, per character, not per account, so you can do it with multiple characters and share that those progression materials and items. Um, you can feed them to whichever character of your choosing, which is kind of a nice feature. And there's a lot of um, account-wide unlocks or uh, achievements, that kind of thing, that also give you bonus stats to all of your characters so when you level up those other characters later on it's going to be a lot easier than your first playthrough. There are also area bosses and completionist content to unlock um, certain things in the game uh, whether it be stats or um, materials etc and you can always go back and do those later, so don't get too bogged down in that completionist stuff on your first playthrough. Or you might end up setting yourself a lot farther behind than other players, and that's going to really come into play uh, later on when your goal is going to be farming gold and other materials to progress your character, so... Those are the tips I've got, guys, for if you're just starting out in the game. And I hope it helps you out a little bit, gives you a little bit of an idea of kind of what to do and where to first uh, progress through the game. So thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in game starting tomorrow. And remember to give them the D. <laughs> you pretend to be human, but this is the real you.